The strong dollar has gatecrashed this year's IMF and World Bank meetings, and a lot of emerging markets aren't happy about it. Finance ministers and central bank governors have landed on Washington for their annual summit, with US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey joining their counterparts from over 180 countries. What lots of them want to talk about is the dollar. It's strengthened to levels we haven't seen in 20 years, and that's causing all kinds of pain. Now, investors tend to flock to the dollar when the world is scary because the US is relatively stable and its financial markets are easy to get in and out of. That's a problem for emerging markets, though, because 80% of their foreign borrowings are in dollars. So when the greenback goes up, it costs them more. Now, though, with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates to fight inflation, which in September came in at 8.2%, it becomes more attractive to buy US government bonds than it was, and other countries therefore have to pay more on their own debt or see money go elsewhere. This is really bad news for countries that have to borrow to pay for exports or fund government spending like Turkey, Colombia, Mexico and India, among others. The problem is that even though these countries are under stress, the Fed can't stop what it's doing. It's got to fight inflation. Yellen has asked others to mitigate the damage, like the IMF and the World Bank, but the US government can't really step in either, with an election just round the corner. So that leaves more frustration with the dollar and more long-term reasons for other countries to hope that one day there's an alternative global currency. In the meantime, just as the dollar's stability brought them stability and prosperity in good times, they're just going to have to live with the bad times.